Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, back this month to suggest when it's time to hire a digital marketing professional. John Antel with NicheMarketMedia.net, a WHHI TV news partner. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Nice to see you. So, at some point, businesses should consider hiring a professional. Yes. When is that? Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, but I like it. <laughs> well, you know, it's it, as soon as they, well, a lot of times, and I've seen it, you know, I've seen businesses, you know, even, you know, retail businesses in where we live, you know, you'll see a business pop up and then six months later it could be gone. Yeah. You know, so if people aren't thinking about digital first and foremost, they may not be in business, okay? So, you know, if they have a successful business and you know so so really they should at least have a consultant come in and give them an idea of what they can be doing right. okay uh, if they're successful already as soon as they can get some some breathing room then that's when they need to talk to to a digital professional professional company and I do agree. Yeah. I absolutely agree. I think the digital platform is the number one advertising uh, avenue. Yes. Um, at least in my opinion. Well, I've it, not seen anything uh, better or, and it you know. Be, and it all can be tracked. Right. You know, in, right. in, in the print, you just, you can't track if somebody's, you know. Yeah. And I, and, I, and you know, I, th I think everything has its place. Yes. Uh, and I think a lot of print uh, now has digital platforms associated with it, yes, right? Yes. But the long and the short of it is, I think you still need to hire a professional, and I'll let you talk a little sure. bit about the advantages of yeah. that. Well, number one, time. You know, yeah. I mean, who's got the time? Uh, another t another thing. A lot of times I've seen this where a uh, a business will give it to, you know, their admin person. Mm -hmm. Or maybe somebody that's working the front desk that you know may you know be younger, so they think they know all this stuff. But you know they might be a secretary; they may not have any clue on this. Then they load all this. Hey, we want you to do our Facebook, our uh, our ad, our Google ads, and then they become overwhelmed, and things don't get done that should be done in the office. Okay. Yeah. So you know that's another time. Uh, you know, get somebody outside of it because that's our job that's you right. know somebody else's job so they can you know if they don't have results then you can get rid of them if they are you know unlike you know so don't put all that pressure on somebody within if they don't have the background right right I and again I agree with yeah. that Absolutely. so how, how does somebody choose the right consultant uh, for their business John because yeah. that decision is, di is difficult as well yes interview interview people you know you know go and on what their, and what do you ask yeah you know ask ask who they've worked with ask if they have someone that they could talk to see if they've got Google reviews okay Google mm -hmm. are tougher you know Facebook's kinda it's, it's a little easier just go in there and pop in a review you know Google they have to have an account it has to be you know they have to go in there and it has to be a legitimate you know kinda deal so look at their Google reviews Yelp reviews uh, and then ask them hard questions mm -hmm. you know have you and, and sometimes it's not always have you been in our industry but what results have you done did you did you start with a business and they were here and where were they you know later okay right. you know and if they've spent money you know how how is it done for them you know how is it done for the business you know if they spent x amount of dollars on facebook or x amount of dollar on you know google what has it done for them so look ask them for some case studies and so how do you start with the uh, uh, hiring process yep you know once you go through that process of interviewing reviews look at their website you know pick up the phone and talk to people you know then and normally uh, consultants uh, digital professionals uh, digital marketing professionals they have firms they've worked with so yes. you should be able to call them as well right correct correct and then you know once you have narrowed it down then you then you then you want to ask for different options okay because an option of you know say ask for some options to go forward okay? okay so if you've decided on one or two say hey what are some options for me what are some milestones that we can look for mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and go about it that way because they sometimes I've seen this where 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 I've seen multiple businesses get the same exact proposal from the same company similar to right. like what I do right. and so they're like you know They've got this, and I said, well, can you just give me the bullet points? And it's the same exact thing. What I believe is that it has to be tailored for the particular client. 
There is no one size fits all. So ask for a few options about going forward. John, thank you. You're welcome. Always thank great information. You. And obviously your information is on the screen and uh, they can call you. Perfect. Thank I you. I love that. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.